Transformers are used to get from one AC voltage V1 to another AC voltage V2, either by stepping up V1 to get V2, or by stepping down V1 to get V2. And whether you step up or down depends on what type of transformer you have. However, any transformer will have a primary coil and a secondary coil that are connected with an iron core, but electrically insulated. And what happens is that as the current varies through the primary coil, the changing magnetic flux is felt by the secondary coil because the magnetic field lines are trapped in the iron core. And that induces V2 across the secondary coil. In fact, in magnitude, V1 is equal to N1 absolute value of d phi b over dt, and V2 is equal to N2 absolute value of d phi b over dt. But these two quantities are the same, again, because the magnetic field lines are trapped inside the iron core. So we can write that V1 over N1 is equal to V2 over N2, which means that V2 is equal to N2 over N1 V1. And if N2 is greater than N1, then you have a step up transformer. If N2 is less than N1, then you have a step down transformer. And if you have an ideal transformer, if there are no power losses, you can also write that P1 is equal to P2. And that tells you that V1 I1 is equal to V2 I2. In other words, that you can relate I2 to I1 through the ratio N2 over N1, because we know that V2 over V1 is N2 over N1. So we have I1 is equal to V2 over V1, but that's N2 over N1 times I2. And finally, you get that I2 is equal to N1 over N2 I1. So that's the idea behind transformers. It's an induction-based um, component, and so it only works with AC voltages and AC currents because you need a varying magnetic field here to induce a voltage across the secondary coil.